What I Became Without You, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Miro Rose, with artwork for the opening and thumbnail image by Siha on Instagram. You can find a link to Siha's art in the description box. If you're new around here, hi, I'm Mira. I write and narrate Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction in an audiobook format. Keep listening to see if you like it. Marinette Dupang Chang as Lady Blanc. As Ladybug, Marinette Dupang Chang got exposed to several timelines. As Ladybug, Marinette Dupang Chang saw the world fall to Hawk Moth. As Ladybug, Marinette Dupang Chang held the world frozen by her partner. As Ladybug, Marinette Dupang Chang had the world in the palm of her hand. As Ladybug, Marinette Dupang Chang lost the love of her life. Marinette, please. Tiki's voice was hoarse. She hadn't realized a Kwame could wear out their voice. Marinette, a lucky charm can't fix this. She didn't listen. This is it. This is what it felt like. This is what he felt like. Destroying what took away her partner would mean destroying what raised him. After all of this went down, the cat miraculous ring would be the only thing left of her partner. It would be the only thing left, and she'd wear it as she destroyed what destroyed him. Cat Blanc was Ladybug's nightmare, but Lady Blanc would be Ladybug's revenge. See? Hawk Moth yelled at her. See? You've succumbed too. You act so high and mighty, Ladybug, but we're the same, you and I. Stop talking, she whispered. The light of her cataclysm danced in her hand. She wouldn't destroy everything. Ladybug, Lady Blanc, would simply erase it. Look what you've become! You could bring him back, you know! There is an idea. Perhaps she could bring him back. Start a different timeline. Go back a few months, or even years. But not yet. Right now, she needed to avenge him. She wouldn't abandon this timeline without doing so. Goodbye, Hawkmoth, Lady Blanc whispered. She pressed her hand to the floor and watched as the household simply erased. It cracked without a sound, shimmering into fragments like a reverse snowfall. And goodbye to the aggressed household. Lady Blanc didn't move after defeating her nemesis and avenging her lover and partner. She stood in the desolate nothingness left behind from her actions, then closed her eyes. Lady Blanc closed her eyes, then wept. Marinette, Tiki began. It doesn't need fixing. Lady Blanc collapsed to her knees. It's over. Marinette. I need more time. I can't go back yet. Go back? I can't reset the timeline like this. <laughs> Not yet. Marina, you... If I go back, I'll destroy Gabriel Grest in a way he would never forgive me for. 
marionette. If I go back, I won't be able to overcome this chasm of loss in my chest. Tiki settled on her shoulder, sighing. And I'll have to live here, in this timeline, without him. Lady Blanc rubbed her face. I can't face him like this. He'd want you to be happy. But I wouldn't be able to make him happy if I stay a mess like this. So you're going to stay in this timeline? Ladybug sniffed. I'll... <sighs> I'll stay in this timeline for now. Marinette? Until I've recovered. And when I know this can never happen again. You only get to wish once, you know? Tiki lowered her eyes. I know. Believe me, Marinette, I know, but... The ring isn't beeping. Tiki stiffened, floating down to look at it. I knew it, she whispered, pulling her hands to her chest. What, what is it? I'm sorry, Marinette. What is it, Tiki? Her Kwame didn't say anything at first, floating and staring and all but crying. Marinette, you've become Lady Blanc. Yes, I'm aware. No, no, Marinette, you've become Lady Blanc. What? She thought she was empty inside. Empty and hurt without Cat Noir. But whatever she had left in her drained out when she realized what her Kwame meant. Marinette became Lady Blanc. And once your miraculous is yours, truly yours, you aren't able to use another ever again. She was stuck. There were no more timelines. There were no more plans. There was no more Cat Noir. There would never be a Cat Noir again. Uh, Bunnix, Lady Blanc tried. She's not allowed to. Tiki cried too. And even if she was, there would be a, there would be two of you in a timeline then. What you want to have wouldn't be yours. And I can't kill a younger version of me. Because then you'd disappear too. Oh, Tiki. Lady Blanc had nothing left to give. What will become of me? I'm sorry, Marinette. Tiki repeated her reply. I'm sorry, but a lucky charm can't fix this. It went too far. Paris was all right. The world was all right. But Marinette Dupain Chang wasn't. The cost of avenging the love of her life would be to finish her days without him. The cost of avenging the love of her life was to become Lady Blanc. The cost of losing Cat Noir was what Ladybug became without him. Okay. Lady Blanc accepted it all too easily. Sometimes the grief pours, and you can only stand in its waterfall and accept it. 
I'll protect this city on my own then. The Dupang Changs never met their daughter again. The world scrubbed out the existence of the aggressed line. Paris had their own superhero who never left, but never smiled. A world without Cat Noir became a world with Lady Block, and Lady Block guarded her city alone. Thank you so much for listening. That was What I Became Without You, a miraculous ladybug fan fiction written and narrated by Mira Rose. That's me in an audiobook format. If you'd like to enjoy more fan fiction read aloud in an audiobook format, you can click these playlists or just browse this channel for more. If you're still listening, don't forget to not only subscribe and thumbs up this video, but leave a comment in the comment section. If you aren't sure what to comment, put the cost. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!